I think it's holding. Let's see. Ooh. I think we are recording. Let me let me check. Double check. Check check. Yes, it is recording. So we can we can begin. Yay. Hello. Hi. It's been quiet. Got probably not the word I'd use. It's been quiet between <laughs> us, but uh, the things we've been doing have been quite overwhelming. Uh, yeah, like, so basically, the deliver I was aiming for, it's been quiet. Too quiet. So basically, we, uh, I know that I haven't posted uh, nearly as much as I would do in idle mode, like anywhere. Yeah, so wh whatever social media anybody might might follow us, it, ha it has been quiet-ish. But that's because we have been so busy! Yes, extremely so. <coughs> tell, tell me about your projects. Oh, um, okay, so a little while ago, uh, I started uploading the uh, not final version of Mirror's Legion to the website, so that's one thing I got out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you are looking for sort of constant updates, we're trying to get them out every Friday. It's not a, st it's not a like a set in stone schedule, but every Friday I try mm -hmm. and get at least one part of Mirror's Legion up there. Um, and elsewhere, I've been working on editing Cal de Vaza with, oh, uh, so uh, tell. Tell the new novice viewer who knows nothing what uh, uh, what's what's Mirror's Legion and what's Code Wars. I think you can. Okay, you can right. Them. So, uh, Mirror's Legion is a sort of typicalish uh, Chaos Nova story. I think there's a sort of theme I've noticed with most of my stories, and Mirror's <laughs> Legion definitely fits some of the mold. Um, uh, it's it's essentially a group of mercenaries and. It starts off with Mira being uh, being exiled, and it doesn't look like she's any way back. So she's settling into a new life in exile, essentially. And uh, I don't want to give too much away, but it is mm -hmm. it is uh, uh, f it's a fun adventure. I had fun writing it. Um, Mira, Mira is one of my favourite characters. I think she's slowly mm. creeping up there as Ooh. one of my favourites. Uh, and I got I got plans for them, but again, none of it's set in stone. Uh, and uh, if if anybody, oh, I suppose if this is for the people who, who don't really know much, they probably won't know much about Scribe. <laughs> but um, there there are elements of Scribe in Mirror's Legion as well, which is cool. Yeah, um, I think uh, that because reasons we can't go. Let's let's not uh, let's not discuss uh, Scribe anything to do with Scribe too much. Yeah. Because reasons. Hush hush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then. Cloud of Alza is a story that, that hopefully, fingers crossed, should be coming out sometime this year. That's the plan, right? This is sort of like my quote-unquote solo Chaos Nova story. Mm -hmm. It takes place in the Chaos Nova universe, but unlike Seeker, we didn't do the combined sort of authorship on it. Mm -hmm. um, which is fine. I mean, we've got plenty of other stories to work on. We've got the short stories and, I mean... 2020 is the year of split personality if I get my way so <laughs> that's cool um, but just going back to Cal de Vaza real quick um, it follows sort of three main characters uh, Alicia Rivera, Casca Stone and Joseph Rafa and they live on a station called Cal de Vaza and Cal de Vaza is currently experiencing some issues um, that these people have to then deal with in order to protect their home and it takes them it takes them to a few neighbouring systems and they have to deal with uh, certain elements uh, that they were originally unaware of. So it's like, wait, hang on, this shouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, oh, crap, panic mode. Uh, so, yeah, I, and I've re I, Elise Riviera is easily in my top five favourite characters Ooh. now, I think. Just her, <laughs> the, way, the, the way she reacts to situations, her charm, her sense of humour... She just, she's an outsider in Cal Vaza, right? She comes from Paradise, which is so, it, elements of split personality too. So they all kind of link, but it's more of a sort of nudge. Uh, like not a full out, okay, this, it's more of a reference. Just a wink mm -hmm. of a nod, you know. Um, so she has left her home place because shit was going down there that she, that she didn't want any part of. And 
she arrives at Caldevaza and she's she's an outsider, but she her outside way of thinking really contributes to the station and and you know is it's just it's just good to see man it's a great fun story i loved writing it and i'm i'm excited to share it with people it's mm -hmm. i'm getting that like i was thinking about putting <laughs> the uh, sample pack together this morning uh Ooh. three chapters. so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm quite excited about it uh uh, and also, other things that are happening. I got a book signing coming up in March, right? And it's freaking me out. Like, there's there's all this cool stuff going on. I, and if you could look around, I don't know if you can see. My room is in absolute chaos right now. My dwelling, uh, there are shelves outside being painted. All my books and everything are just scattered around me. It's a mess. My brain is in chaos. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, having all these projects going, and then on top of that, I'm doing a, a, a book signing. It's like, oh my god, slow down, please. Please, please, please. Um, so yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> <laughs> that's me right yeah. there. You know, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing too serious. <laughs> <laughs> but you've also been up to some quite exciting mm -hmm. things as well. Yep. So. And, and I've uh, enjoyed listening to your progress. So shit. shit. <laughs> so basically. I'm also working on a solo story within Chaos Nova Universe uh, and unlike any other of our stories uh, this one is, is in Estonian from the start so at some point I'm gonna have to uh, reverse the whole uh, adaptation thing and and also I want to make it in English but yeah it's a it's a story about a group of volunteer kind of sort of mercenaries fighters ish who go to a new place and set up there <laughs> and <laughs> fulfill a mission <laughs> uh, see a pattern <laughs> but yeah uh, this this time this time I have uh, sort of weaved in the uh, undeniable Estonian flavor because uh, Indirectly, it will link together with my player character Smith, uh, or at least a version of her, which uh, which you will find out about when the story is over. So right now, I'm like uh, I'm two and a half chapters in, and I'm releasing it in a serialized format in the uh, in the sci-fi magazine Reactor, which is also uh, sort of taking a lot of uh, a lot of the attention and time so I'm also editing some stuff in there and and adding stories etc so yeah it's, it's like reactor thing and also the <coughs> sci-fi uh, writing workshop thing what else we can pin a comment look this is new on YouTube right or at mm. least it's new to me we'll pin a comment we'll put reactor in the pinned comment Yes. Yeah, Indeed. <laughs> oh, my screen is dimming. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think I think I mentioned it like in the autumn or something. But yeah, I've been uh, I've I've been included in the ranks of the nuclear minions uh, <laughs> since like September and. Uh, and yeah, we shall put the link in there. Uh, also, our fe February issue came out today, so everybody's excited and there's like confetti. <laughs> <laughs> and and Nux will share everything that he sees in Facebook, even though he can't yes. understand a word. I can't understand anything, so if someone's cat goes missing and it, go it ends up on the reactor page, it's going to get shared in, in England and it's not going to mean anything, but uh, yeah, doing my bit, yo. Yo, boost the signal. Share and share love. Yeah. Yep. So, if anyone wants to help in my Facebook sharing of things I don't understand, I can't help the feeling that I'm, I'm missing something. It's like, I, I, I feel like there's there should be something else rather big that I should be mentioning, but... Well, there is the hush-hush thing, but... Uh, let's see... Mirror's Legion, homepage... Um, short stories... 
web comic recommendation posts. I've been doing some proofreading. Ooh. I've been doing. Do some, tell. Can I? Yeah. Can I just say, shout massive shout out to Carl, Carl Ralph. Thank you for bringing me in on this project. Um, it's called. It's a book called Still Waters. And I think it's coming out soon. Mm -hmm. It's it's in the proofreading stage, and I'm currently working through some of the um, things you do as proofreading. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's fantastic. I really enjoyed it. It you know uh, starts off a bit slow, but the, it really draws you in, and then from there it sort of doesn't let you go he sent me the file three <laughs> days ago i'm already on page 241 at least like I, I i've only been able to put this thing down when my neck's like no no more we need to <laughs> you know you need to rest your night neck you need to rest your eyes <laughs> take a break like <coughs> seriously your body is physically unable to keep reading this book right? <laughs> so uh when it comes out i'm sure we're going to do some big shouts for Cole and he's a big help to Chaos Nova as well. He's, mm -hmm. uh, he's the one editing Cal de Valza. Massive mm -hmm. thanks to him for that. He's done a fantastic job. <coughs> and he was also part of the Seeker yeah. Comma Destroyer team. Yeah, so Carl did uh, proofreading uh, for Seeker. He, there, there were suggestions to remove commas, which we would not comply with because it felt like there should be a pause in certain places but that's like our responsibility he did his part well mm -hmm. <laughs> oh uh, i remembered ish i, I think oh I think yeah that's it. so i also have some paper copies see this should be flipped the camera <laughs> the, the camera doesn't know how to flip itself to me, I can read it normally, so I don't know if I flipped your camera. Or uh, I think I think that's that's the thing. Uh, Discord is showing you the correct version, but it's showing me the mirrored version. So like. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool, bro. I've been. Uh, I, I took some copies into the uh, writing workshop and loaded there as well. <laughs> Have you signed a couple of coffee, uh, copies and given them uh, to people? No, not yet. Well, I, I mean, I only have five copies, so I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing the recon right now. <laughs> I thought before I sent them to you, maybe I should have signed them, but then that's a whole yeah. other discussion. I can, yeah. I think I can fake your signature, though. <laughs> 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 I maybe, maybe I should just send you a bit of paper to put in each of them or something. I don't know. Maybe we can do that. I think I've seen that done elsewhere. Oh uh, yeah, so next time uh, there is a reason to send something over, you can sort of uh, include a stack of cards or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Adam sort of post. I don't want to say post mortem, but because <laughs> I've been reading stuff, that's you know that's the language that's in my head. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's you cool, all, you also we did a we did a video about this, but you also released Outrunners and. Uh, do I understand correctly oh, yeah. that the signing is not Seeker, but the signing is for Outrunners, right? It's for both of them. Ah. Put them both out there and be like, yo. Every you get, for everybody! You, you can get one half of the author team signed on Seeker, but to get to the other half, you do have to travel to Estonia and, mm. you know, sort of track you down a little bit. Um, so, yeah, you got to collect them all. We're like Pokemon now, Lord. Yep. <laughs> 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 Worst comparison ever. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to be for both of them. I'm looking forward to it. Terrified, but I am looking forward to it. And hey, look, man, I've got to say a big thank you to Claire as mm -hmm. well, who is was also part of the Seeker Attack Squad. And mm -hmm. uh, Vanessa. Vanessa, also part of the Seeker Attack Squad. Um, they're both going to be there. Uh, Vanessa is awesome. doing some live readings for me. So even if the thing turns into a total disaster, I'm going to be surrounded by friends, and it's <laughs> you know all a learning experience, yep. right? Yep. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward it's to the uh, uh, lessons. How's the saying? As long as you're not learning, you're not failing. <laughs> and if things go to plan, we will record all of it. And oh yes. Chop it up and and see if we can share some of it with you. But that's depending on permissions mm, given yeah. by the people yeah. involved and that sort of thing. So <coughs> we'll see. We'll, fingers crossed it happens. But time will tell. 
Yes. Now, uh, uh, my snotty snottiness is getting overwhelming. I think I'm going to end this episode here and recording. Uh, let's yeah. I hopefully OBS has not uh, uh, ruined it. We shall see. Uh, if if this does not work out, you will see uh, a version of the same thing, but uh, much more abrupt and more cranky. <laughs> 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 Anywho, uh, thank you very much for watching. We shall put uh, all the links in the comments. Uh, do check yeah. out Outrunners. Do check out Reactor. Uh, do check out uh, Kesnova Twitter. Uh, and stay tuned, I guess. Kesnova.co.uk, yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.